How to set up Proton VPN Android VPN app. Proton VPN is a security and privacy focused VPN application for Android. If you have an Android device and are looking for a reliable and free VPN client, then the Proton VPN Android VPN app is one of the best options. Disclaimer, Proton VPN application is supported by Android OS 5.0 and above. With a single tap, you can connect to hundreds of VPN servers around the world, view block sites and content, while also hiding your IP address. This guide shows you how to use VPN on Android with the Proton VPN mobile app. It also provides an overview of the various features that are included in the Proton VPN Android app. Note, Proton VPN also supports the standard OpenVPN protocol so you can also use Proton VPN on Android with any OpenVPN client. Click here to learn how to set up OpenVPN on Android, later. However, the Proton VPN app is the best Android VPN option because it supports the faster and more reliable IKF2 protocol, and is one of the only Android IKF2 clients available today. 1. To get started with the Proton VPN Android app, you can download it directly from the Google Play Store. 2. After installation is complete, open the app. 3. The main app menu will open up. If you already have an account, enter your Proton VPN account credentials. If you do not have an account yet, tap on Create New Account. 4. Once you are logged into the app, the main server list window will open up. There are several ways to connect to VPN servers. Please note that different Proton VPN plans will provide you with access to different servers. If you have a paid basic or plus plan, you will have access to more servers and faster servers. You can check server accessibility for each plan here. 5. First method to connect to a server is using quick connect button. In order to access it, tap on the circular Proton VPN logo on the bottom right of your screen, next to not connected, unprotected. Quick Connect uses a complex algorithm that takes various server parameters into consideration, so you will get connected to the fastest VPN server based on your location and our server load. You can also pick to connect to a random server. 6. Second method to connect is by using the countries list. Countries tab lists all available countries you can connect to. You can open any country and manually select the server you would like to connect to, or use the fastest server Quick Connect method, which will connect you to the fastest server based on your location and server load. 7. Third option to connect is using the map which you can access by tapping on map view tab. Click on a country to automatically connect to the fastest server in that country. By pinching, you can zoom in and zoom out. 8. By enabling the secure core feature, servers displayed in countries and map view tabs will change to secure core servers. Secure core feature is available for plus and visionary users. You can more about secure core here. 9. You can also create a connection profile in the profiles tab. You can select a few options for the profile, always connecting to a fastest, uses quick connect algorithm, slash random server in a particular country or always connecting to one of your selected individual servers. By setting the profile to default, the quick connect button will always connect to this profile in the future, and if you set the app to auto start on device boot, it will automatically profile. 10. You can also set up a profile for secure core servers as well. With secure core, you can manually configure both your entry and exit country. 11. All of your connection profiles can be easily accessed by tapping on Proton VPN logo at the bottom right corner and holding for a moment. In order to disconnect from the server, swipe up to open the connection profile and tap on disconnect. 12. You can open the full application menu by tapping on the burger menu at the top left corner of your screen. 13. Under settings you'll see several options, including, the ability to choose which server quick connect automatically connects to the on slash off switch for our built-in kill switch and always on VPN features, if you lose connection with the VPN server, kill switch blocks all network traffic, while always on automatically re-establishes a connection to a VPN server. The on slash off switch for alternative routing. Selecting the VPN protocol the app uses to set up a VPN connection, by default, smart protocol is turned on. It uses the fastest and most stable first. If that one is blocked, smart protocol selection will automatically try the next one. However, you can turn off smart protocol and choose whether you use the IKF2 or OpenVPN protocol. If you select OpenVPN, you will also be able to choose between the UDP and TCP transport protocols. Learn more, what's the difference between UDP and TCP? Later. Allowing local area networks, this allows you to buy the VPN and set up an unencrypted connection with local devices, like your printer. Split tunneling configuration, this allows you to exclude apps or IP address from the VPN's encrypted tunnel. They will use your normal IP address instead. It lets you browse the internet as though you are in two places at once. If you encounter any problems, don't hesitate to get in touch with our support team here, 
https colon slash slash protonvpn.com slash support hyphen form.